Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create a document approval process in SharePoint document library using Power Automate. As you can see, I have this approval docs document library and I have logged in here my control owner account, which has full control. And if I try to upload a document here, I can straight away upload a document and user who has a view permission to this document library or at the site level, they will be able to see this document as well. If I go to my another profile that I've logged in into a different browser, which has added access, this user will also be able to see the document. So based on the user permission, they'll be able to view, download, update, delete, all the action depending on the permissions they have. So if we talk about how we can create approval structure here, so we'll go with the default feature of a SharePoint document library by going to this gear icon, by going to the library setting. If you go to more library setting here, there is a versioning setting that is there. If I click on this one, you will see there is a content approval option and by default, this is set to no. So if I click this to yes, so every time a user upload a new document, it will goes through a approval process. And the second option is document version history. So in this case, you will see the create majors version is enabled by default. And the example are given like one, two, three, four. This is a normally create version history of your document. So let's suppose if you make any changes after that, publish it. So the previous version gets stored in the same way there is create major and minor draft version is there. So you can create 1.0, 1.1, things like that. And then 2.0 and 3.0, things like that. Right. And apart from this, when you select this create major version by default, your document approval status goes to pending stage when you upload a new document. And when you select this create major and minor version draft version, then when you upload a new document, it by default goes to a draft stage. Then as a user, you have to submit this for approval. When you submit this for approval, then it goes to the pending stage for approval to approve or reject it. So the third thing is the draft item security and this define if the item into a draft stage, who can view that particular item. Only user who can approve the item or you can select anyone who can read the item, only user who can edit the item. So by default, this is selected. I'll keep this selected and this require checkout things so require document to be checked out before they can be edited. I will set it. No, click on. Okay. You will see here. There is a new column has been added with the name of approval status and by default, the status of this is approved. So that means whenever you enable a content approval in your document library, if you already have few documents there, so their status will be changed to approved by default. So next thing I will go to the profile, which is uh, edit access and I will try to upload a new file from here. I will upload this file. Okay. This is the same file. I will try to upload another file, maybe the different name and you will see. The content approval status is by default set to draft. And if I select here, there is an option submit for approval. Once I submit this for approval, so the user who has approve or reject permission, he'll be able to see this document. And apart from that, the other user will not be able to see this document until it is approved. So if I go to this uh, owner account, I will be able to I'll be able to see that this is in the pending stage and I now can go here, can approve or reject this, right? So that way it work fine. But if I try to upload a new file from this, any of the file, now it's into draft stage. I'll go to the other user profile. This time the user will not be able to see that draft item because this user does not have permissions to approve or reject item. That's why this user is not able to see the item that's into a draft stage or either into a pending stage until and unless the item is approved, the user will not be able to see that particular item. 
so if i go here submit for approval in the submit approve or reject it i just approved it and now if i go here the user will be able to see the same document in this stage and another thing to notice here is that if i try to upload a file so let's suppose i am trying to upload this invoice 16.xlsx and this file already here so it will ask me to replace this and the by default status is approved if i replace it the status went back to a draft stage again right and now if i go to the edit user profile and try to refresh here so you will see that the user is able to see that particular document ideally if this into a draft stage user should not able to see so how this work is the user is able to see the published version of this particular document if i go to the document here and check the version history here you will see that uh, approval status approved and this is the current published major version so that means user which is seeing into a different browser it's seeing this particular version and this version into a draft until now so once this version is published user will be able to see the latest changes so that is one more important thing uh, into a document uh, approval and now if i go to the library setting here and uh, more library in the versioning setting if i select this create major version so what happen is if i try to upload a file here the default status this time goes to pending so that means if you enable a major version it will by default goes to pending and if it is the minor it will goes to a draft one once this is into the pending status you don't have to submit this for approval you can directly go as an approver can approve or reject this document as an approver in the view section you can go to your approve and reject item view there you will see the approval status which is into draft which is approved if there is anything pending it will show into the pending status and from here you can approve and reject things but this is the manual task every time you have an approve or reject things you don't know who has sent me a document for approval you have to come here select your view and then see who has sent a document for approval how we can automate that using power automate so that every time you have a new document for approval it will be sent to you on your email and you can directly approve and reject it from there so let's just talk about how we can do that i'll go to my power automate and try to create a automated cloud flow and i will skip this one i will name my flow as an approval flow i'll select the connector sharepoint so what i will say is i will select the trigger when a item is created or modified so in this case i do not have anything specific for sharepoint document library so i will work with i'll select my com site and it's asking for the list name so i know that my library name is approval docs so i can go here and can uh, manually type this approval docs and another thing is i want to run this on a specific condition that is whenever my item status into the pending stage then only it will run so i will go in a next step try to compose i'll write a formula here that is equal brackets and in the dynamic content i will select set content approval status that should be comma single quote and equal to pending right select this go into the setting of this one and in the add trigger condition paste it here and put add the rate in front click done now remove this step this is just to add formula once we have this i will select 
file sorry get file metadata this is another SharePoint action I will explain you later on why I'm using this I'll select my site file identifier will be identifier I'm not selecting the ID right and once I have this next step will be approval connector you can select from the option that you are looking for so I will say start and wait for an approval approval type will be approve and reject in my case everyone must approve title will be new dogs for approval assigned to I will say my name here you can assign this to a SharePoint specific group as well if you want uh, I have a video on that already I will provide link in description you can check that out as well but I'm giving my name here as of now and in the details section you can see new approval docs with uh, detail below and in a detail you can provide name name of the file and create it by I will say created by display name and in the item link I'm going to provide my site URL that will be a fixed one and after that I can select path directly and uh, in the item link description click here to view file that's it once this is done next step will be our control condition and I will select the value of the outcome is equal to approve then means if the approval status is approved then I will go to the yes section and I will say set content approval status that means I will go to my site address that is my com site I will select the library name I can put a custom name approval docs again and the ID that I will select get file item ID and action I will set approve and e tag I will select this sorry I have to search it from here you can see the get file metadata action e tag is there so now you understand that we have included this get file metadata to get the e tag of the file that is the important one so once I save this one and I go to the editor profile here and I try to upload a new file here once I upload the status goes to pending and now this time I don't have to come to this document library to approve or reject the document I'll go to my power automate we'll uh, wait our flow to run as you can see my flow started here and this is into start and wait for an approval stage we'll go to my email now if I go to my outlook you will see there is a new approval email as you can see new docs for approval you can see in the detail you can see new approval docs with detail below name of the file is invoice 32 created by this guest user and in the link you can see a link to open that specific file you can open that up here and once you are able to see that you can approve or reject this if I click on approve there is an option to add comment I say good to go submit this go to my flow you will see the flow is completed condition is true set content approval has been set and if I go to the document this invoice 32 I'll refresh you can see the approval status is approved 
And one more thing I just wanted to share is regarding the permissioning part. If you go to the site permission, because this document library is inheriting permissions from the collection level. If I go there, advanced permission setting, you will see that uh, there is the owner group created. There is a member group and there is a visitor groups. If I go to the owners, my name is added there. And if I go to the members, this guest user is added there. And there is a permission level in top as well. If you go to the permissions level, you will see there are five type of permissions level, which is by default created. And uh, we were using the full control one, which has full control and the edit one, which can add, edit, delete list, view and add, update, delete list item in the document. But this particular rule does not have options to approve or reject. If I click on this particular rule, you will see this approve item option is not checked in. So if you want to provide a set of users as an approver access, what you can do is there is a design group, right, which has this approve option there. So if you go to the permission setting, you can create your new group from here and there you can provide them a design access and can click on create. And after that, you can add user inside to that specific group. And then that group will treat like as an approval groups for you. And you can use this particular group when you are sending emails through Power Automate as well. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.